I want to get right into it. Uh, this video is going to be comparing Google's new quick share with Apple's classic airdrop. Now I'm going to use two videos. I'm making this after the fact. So, uh, I'm thinking it was going to be one when I made it, but it, both of them just ate up the, uh, sample video I had planned just so quickly, uh, as you'll see. Uh, and the video that I'm going to be using, which is going to be the primary test, is the video that I already upload on YouTube. It is the video where I talk about getting the new uh, lacrosse Chrome browser. Uh, so that uh, video is, oh, shy of four minutes. That's the video that we're going to be testing. That's what you're going to be seeing this video. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get it. Uh, Apple AirDrop versus Google Quick Share. Let's go. Okay, so we are testing Apple's AirDrop versus Google's new Quick Share. Now, the Mac is a M1 Mac Mini. This, why not the latest iPhone, say at least, it is a 12 Mini. So, I'm going to share just a small stock video. Hold on. This is going to be the video that I'm going to be testing uh, both on the iPhone and on my Pixel. So we'll share it. That's my mini. I'm going to get the timer already. Now, I legit don't know which one's going to be fastest. Uh, I haven't tested this yet, but we'll keep it fair. As soon as I hit the mini, I'll, as soon as I see it start going, I'll hit the start button and go. Okay. I may have chosen a too small video because that was in eight seconds. Oh, no. Okay, so the video, so we're testing this over here. I wasn't planning on doing this one, but this video is actually the video uploaded. I re edited this one, so it is three minutes 40 seconds. I'm gonna reset that, see how far that takes. This one could take a while. So we we'll share and go. Okay, so that video uploaded within, let's say five minutes, and let's let's round down four minutes. It was maybe a little too short when I'm starting the timer. Uh, so yeah, so that's and that video, that's the the same time. 
video itself is probably a little, a little less than four minutes long. So a little bit longer than the actual video to transfer. All right, so next, that is the airdrop. And we're going to do the same with uh, Google's new quick share. All right, so we're going to do the same two videos. The first one being the same stock video. And then we'll move on to the three minutes and 43 second video, YouTube video that I uploaded. Uh, so let's see. We'll do a share, quick share. Looking for devices. Huh. That could be quicker. Hope they work on that. So it's coming up as my Stevens PC. I'm gonna start this process. So when it's a connecting, after it connects, then I'll I'll start it when it connects. I was a little late on that. So. And. Eh, roughly the same. The level in eight seconds. I'm going to give that to the iPhone. Uh, again. With animations. Stopped at around 11. Stopped at around 8. Okay. But. Let's get on to the actual real video here. Hey guys. Okay. There's some channel. Look at quick share. Popped up. Good, good. Let me reset this. Once you connect, once you start sending, send. And this is what's going to take a while. Okay, nine minutes and 40 seconds. I thought it was gonna be close for there, but that is an embarrassing, nearly twice as long, not quite, but there you have it. So that was a test against Google's new Quick Share versus Apple's AirDrop. I will lie, a little disappointed. I suspected Apple's ecosystem will perform better, just didn't think it'll be that much faster. That was nearly four minute lead on Google's new quick share. However, it's young, it's not even fully rolled out yet. The quick share just rolled out just, I believe yesterday, according to my time. Uh, but yeah, that's where there stands. Obviously Google has a lot to catch up on. Hopefully they do close that gap as soon as possible. But what do you guys think? Were you surprised or was it just as you expected? All right, this is Summers Pro. I'll see you next time.